So welcome to the Courageous Nerd YouTube channel. My name's Connor. I'm joined today by John Henry Ward. John Henry, how are you doing today? Great. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for taking the time to be here and uh, speak with me today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and I know you've been acting for a little while now, but I suppose like who or what first inspired you to pursue a career in the industry? Um, I, I always like, you know, I was always doing plays for my parents in the living room growing up. Mm puppet shows, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't know. I, I have a very distinct memory of seeing Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow at like oh. the age of like 10 or 11 or something. And I was like, that's mm. it. For sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then, and then like acting throughout middle school and then just like kept, kept going from there. Yeah, and obviously we were talking a bit before we started this recording, and you mentioned that you like you're uh, raised in Atlanta and you're there at the moment. So I know that's become quite an acting hotspot in recent years. But was that the case when you were first starting acting, or when you were kind of in in school? Or was that more the case later on? Um, yeah, I went off to college, and I remember someone telling me that they were thinking about going to Atlanta after school, and I was like, "You're crazy." <laughs> there's nothing there and then and then I came back here after school and I had plans to go elsewhere and then I just stayed so yeah. I'd, say, I'd say it's a pretty good pretty good spot absolutely and I suppose um fast forwarding in terms of the timeline of your career you're currently on a series for Hulu the girl from Plainville and it's inspired by you know a very tragic real life uh, suicide of uh, Comrade Roy and then the you know obviously the resulting uh, case that came out of that but I suppose how different is acting on a project inspired by real life events versus like a, a scripted, you know, like fictional storyline? Um, there's definitely a, a, a different approach, um, especially for, you know, what I wanted to bring with bring to the character and the story. Um, you know, I want to focus on, I don't know, you, you want to be careful, be empathetic, be mm. uh, gentle with the material um you know and on serious more serious projects that that's the case but i think there is less of a uh i don't know clowning around fun um yeah vibe to my preparation than than uh in other projects than there was with this one yeah obviously needing to respect like obviously the very sad source material that this is resulting from yeah definitely Absolutely. Yeah. And I suppose like how did the role come about for you? I know I spoke to people who've like auditioned in the past couple of years and like, obviously with COVID, like was it a standard like procedure for you? Or was it like were, were you auditioning for this on Zoom or anything similar? Yeah, no, it was a Zoom callback. Um, hmm. It was what was this? This was like summer of last year. So um, we still weren't doing a lot of things in person um, and we're still not. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you know, I got I got the audition and I was like, oh, cool, Elle Fanning, you know, mm. Liz Hanna, very cool, very cool. Um, and then then I got the callback and then that's when I really dove in on the documentary and the Esquire article. And I was like, oh, wow, there's a, there's a lot more to this than I remember. Um, yeah. From when the case was happening and I was seeing the headlines. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask about that, whether in general you're the type of actor who would do the research on like source material, or would you prefer to kind of just focus? Or, I mean, I know a lot of people say they prefer to focus on the script they've got rather than like kind of uh, blur the lines and think about the real life events. Like, how did you go about that? Um, no, I dove, I dove straight in. I was I wanted to know, you know, everything about it uh, before going into a, the callback. Um, and uh and I think it really informed a lot of my, what I wanted to bring to the character of Adrian, which was this um, more nuanced and um, empathetic view of Michelle, someone who's there for, someone who sees her as a person and not this public figure, you know, evil person that I think she was sort of painted out to be in the mm -hmm. media. Yeah, and obviously Michelle, for anyone who doesn't know, is Elle Fanning's character, and uh, like uh, you kind of befriend her uh, as her story goes along. But I suppose, like, how would you describe like your experience of working with Elle Fanning and approaching the character's dynamic? Um, she's great. I mean, she's a phenomenal actress. 
uh, mm. couldn't ask for a better acting partner. Partner, she's um super friendly, and then and then watching her drop into that character was just wild. You know, we'd be chatting, and then we'd get going, and she would just fully embody that character. Um, and the acting was with an act with acting with a good actor is is easy because mm. especially she was giving me everything and I was just reacting to it. So it was great. For sure. Yeah. And obviously she isn't the only, you know, established name in the cast. There's quite a few people in there who are very well known. I suppose it having a cast of that, you know, uh, you know, uh, so well established, I suppose that help, um, like, you know, the magnitude of the show and kind of obviously you already got the, like the background and we've, we've talked about that, but the fact that you've got so many well-known names in it as well, did that, you know, change your perspective or kind of like, really kind of let it set in or something it was definitely exciting um you know most of the actors i i knew of are sort of on the conrad side of the story so right yeah i didn't interact with them much um except for the day that we were on the the baseball field in episode two um but that's what i love about getting to watch it now there's like a whole other it's almost mm -hmm. like watching a whole other show because I knew about all the Michelle stuff, that side of the story, just because of who I was filming with. But yeah. um, all of the Conrad side of things, I, I'm getting to watch for the first time. Yeah. So. I mean, that that must be like pretty insane that, you, you know, you technically like, well, you did work on this show, but there's a whole side of it. You, you have no idea what was even happening. Yeah. Yeah, wow, for sure. Yeah, and I've, I've spoken to people in a similar position where they've got cast members who they don't directly work with. And I mean, is that more often the case where like you don't really cross paths with them or like it would ever be a thing where you'd see each other a lot but just not have any scenes? Um, there were, um, you know, some of the young people in the show, if you're just like staying in the same hotel, you might see them. But yeah, for the most part, if you don't have scenes with them, you know, you don't, you don't see them. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a little interesting, like little nugget people who don't like work in this industry, uh, like, uh, you know, something they wouldn't know. I think people kind of expect everyone just be, you know, like all together and not necessarily expect that. So I think, yeah, that's definitely an interesting insight to, to learn about, for sure. Yeah, and then uh, obviously the first few episodes of the show uh, premiered on Hulu back in March. And, uh, how are you feeling about, um, you know, at the time about the show coming out and uh, what was running through your mind? um it's really great i think it was pretty well those first uh i think um i, mean, I don't know uh, sorry uh i think um it was well received it was good mm -hmm. I, I really i enjoyed watching the show it hooked me in but i mean obviously um right. yeah um but my you know my friends adrian is now uh, is not returning for any later episodes and the friends who are just watching it for me are now hooked and still watching it so yeah <laughs> i think that's good yeah a uh, uh, good sign all around i think for sure yeah Definitely. yeah and uh, i suppose on that note then like what's been your overall takeaway from that experience having acted in it and now having seen uh, like i guess your entire part in the show yeah yeah and i mean yeah yeah, I, 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 I was kind of asking, but like, what's been like your takeaway from it? Like, how, how do you feel like, you know, having like filmed everything and now seeing your entire role play out? Um, I, I think it's, I, I'm really happy with it. I, I was really trying to, you know, bring that empathetic view, that sort of me trying to be an audience surrogate to anyone who thinks that, you know, Michelle deserved to have a, a normal high school friend. And mm. um, I, I think I succeeded in that. And uh, I hope other people feel that way. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously you've mentioned that like your episodes have like come to an end on, on this particular show, but are, are there any other projects you have uh, coming up you can talk about? Nothing I can talk about at the moment, but right. uh, stay tuned. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, uh, keep an eye and an ear out right as they say definitely for sure definitely. yeah yeah and um i'm sure i'm sure people definitely do that and i suppose then to kind of uh like the last question i've got and in, in a wider sense what would you like to accomplish with the rest of 2022 
Um, I have some scripts I'm uh, I'm oh. sitting on that I'm uh, a short film I'm trying to make and a, a feature I'm trying to finish writing. So that's those are my main focuses for the rest of the year. For sure. Yeah, well, obviously, best of luck, uh, you know, with your other endeavors. And hopefully, even though, you know, your episodes are finished, that the show does does well in spite of that. And yeah, just uh, best of luck with everything and take care and stay safe. Thanks so much. You too.